Let me show you a really simple way to set up a Discord server, and then I'll show you some settings that you need to change to actually make sure your server is set up correctly. A lot of people miss some of these settings. Okay, you could do this inside of the Discord website or the Discord app if you have it installed on your computer. All you have to do is go to the left side here and look for a plus sign. And if you have a lot of servers that you're a part of, you may have to go all the way down to see the plus sign here or scroll down, press this, and you're gonna see this page right here. And over here, I could create my own server. This is gonna let me do it completely from scratch, or I could choose from different templates. They have a bunch of different templates available depending on what you're making a server for. I'm gonna choose create from scratch so I could show you exactly how to do it with some of the important settings that we need to change. Press that, and then it's gonna bring you to this page. So you could set up a server for your friends if you're playing a game, for example, and you wanna set it up for a small group of friends. Or in most cases, you wanna set it up for a community, invite all kinds of members, grow this as an entire community. Next, you wanna give your server a name and you wanna upload a profile picture. And then once you have your picture and your name, you could go ahead and press create. Now, before we invite anyone to the server, let's go ahead and make some changes over here. So the first thing you wanna do is on the left side here, you have different channels. So you have text channels. These have a little hashtag next to them and the name of the channel. And you also have voice channels. And inside of voice channels, this is where you could share your screen, you could share videos, you could share your voice. So the very first thing I recommend is click this little arrow over here and create category. Categories are basically folders that organize your different type of channels. So if you create a category called welcome, your welcome channels could go inside of here. And there we go, we have a welcome. And then inside of that, you wanna create channels inside of these folders. So this first channel is just gonna be welcome, and this is gonna be text-based. So choose that, create that. And then let's add another one over here, and this is gonna be called rules. Typically, you wanna set rules based on your different channels, especially for a large community. Text-based also, create that. So now you have two channels, and you could grab this folder and bring it all the way to the top, so everyone sees this right on top. And if you go to the welcome channel, this is where you could start typing any type of a welcome message and it's gonna be added here. So anybody that jumps into that channel, they're gonna be able to read your welcome message. Now, once you have this organized, you wanna go up here, click this little arrow and then click on server settings because you actually need to give some roles some permissions. So right here, it says roles. You need to create different roles based on the different permissions. If I press this, I could create a role for members. So if anybody is a member, they're going to have a certain amount of permissions here that I could set manually and I could give it a color and I could press save over here. And if you go to the permission tab, these are all the different permissions you could give to these people called members. So when someone becomes a member, they will have these different types of permissions. So you could turn a lot of these on and it's not gonna hurt anything, but the one I recommend that you don't turn on is someone that uses the add mention sign and could mention everyone in a chat. I don't wanna turn this on because if they do that, they're gonna be able to message all my members and I usually don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna leave this off, but all the other ones you could go ahead and turn on. And if you go back over here, you also wanna create another role that is gonna be your admin role. So this includes yourself or anyone with admin permissions. And you could go ahead and give this a different color so they'll show up like this. You can see as I'm changing the color, it shows you a little preview of what that looks like. And then you could go ahead and save it. And same thing over here, you could go to permissions and then you could give that admin all the different permissions. For admins, almost all these are gonna be okay. And then in the display, you could also go ahead and toggle this on, display role members separately from online members. This is a nice way to organize your different members when people look at it. So I recommend you turn this on as well for admins. And finally, if you want someone to join the server, all you have to do is press the plus sign anywhere that you see the plus sign. It's also available in this dropdown. It says invite people. If you click this, you're going to be able to search for your own friends you have to be friends with them on Discord first. So this is how you would find them if you're friends with them. If you're not friends with them, all you have to do is you could just copy this link over here and send them this link. If you send them this link, they will be able to join your server using this link. Just to show you what that looks like, if they go to the plus sign on their accounts and join a server, they just have to copy that link over here 
press join server and now they are inside of that server and now if i click this little show member icon i could see the two different people that was me this is the person i invited i could always click on their name as well and i could assign them a role so i could make them a member here it's going to change the color of that and i could assign the admin role to myself and now i'm an admin and it's organized nicely with admins on top and members on the bottom and if this is your first time using discord i also recommend watching the complete discord tutorial that i recently posted which i'll link here as well thanks so much for watching and i'll see you then